Hey everybody, uh, so we're doing a third handcuff video in a row here. Uh, certainly not where I thought my week would go making videos. Uh, not that I do a ton of planning or anything, but uh, I'll link up in the corner here picking handcuffs uh, double locked. And on that video, picking them single locked is also on there. So if you're interested in that, you could check them out. And uh, what we've got is a uh, see-through handcuff, which I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, again, in case you want to fool around with them, I would just recommend making sure you know where a key is at, just so you don't um, put in any kind of embarrassing situations or anything. And uh, so these are the cuffs I've been picking. And uh, these are some uh, Viper Tech cuffs, different brand. These are just some generic one. Uh, same mechanism. Uh, your double lock is right, right here. Um, right here where my finger's at. Your double lock on these. And your double lock on the see-through pairs, same spot. And same spot on these cuffs. Now this one, the double lock is actually already activated, so uh, it won't get any tighter. That's what the double lock does. Um, it keeps it where you know it can't. It's already not going to come off, but it won't get any tighter either. So if your handcuffs sitting on them, you're not tighten them down on yourself. And um, these Smith, these are Smith and Wesson cuffs here. Um, same idea, same mechanism, but the double lock is actually uh, right here. You can actually see. Um, that little line in the center, and this has to, has to be slid over. And that activates the double lock on these Smith & Wesson handcuffs. Uh, this is the most expensive pair out of the three. And then to turn the double lock off on any of them, you're just turning it, um, I guess, counterclockwise, and then you can turn it clockwise to actually unlock them. You know, the double lock's engaged. It's got to be disengaged before you can single lock or single unlock or whatever. Uh, reason for that is how the mechanism works. You can see it up here. Uh, it's just like a paw that sits in these um, notches. And the paw, if you see across, this bar across the top, corresponds with our hole here is the double lock. Uh, when it's engaged, it slides over the paw and it will not let it lift. And so the handcuff can't get any tighter because it can't lift out of the way. So I'll demonstrate that here. So we put it in a little hole here and you just see that piece at the top. It's just going to slide over. And now the cuff can't get any tighter or looser. And then normally to unlock these, you would just turn it uh, this way. But it can't unlock that way either because it's hitting uh, that bar. So to disengage the double lock, you just turn it the opposite direction. And it's just going to slide that metal bar back over. And now the single lock will uh, also disengage and then uh, when you're picking these with a double lock you know if the double locks engaged you got to get your tool in there and you've got to get it up around the keyway and you've got to push that bar over uh, one way or another and then of course to single unlock you just simply got to get your tool uh, under that paw and just lift it out of the way with some tension on the cuff and um, I'm trying to do this through the viewfinder here. Just actually almost easier not being able to see it, but basically you're just getting the tool under there. So you got to put tension on it, which when they're on your wrist is not the most comfortable thing in the world. But you just got to lift it out of the way, and then you can get them off that way. Uh, you know, with a piece of wire, or bobby pin, or paper clip, or those are key rings. But that's really all there is to handcuffs. Um, pretty simple mechanism. And uh, so I hope the, uh, I think I'm done making handcuff videos for a while. Uh, if anybody has any questions or anything, uh, put them in the description and I'll answer them and I guess make uh, another video if uh, that's what I've got to do. Uh, so that's going to uh, do it, I guess, for our, our discussion on handcuffs. Um, like, subscribe, share, and everything. And we will uh, talk to everybody later.